Hello, very quick video today about the lift family of functions uh, which are contained in the per package. So the lift family of functions are uh, some functions that I actually don't use that often, but I think it's good to be aware that they exist because they might come in handy in some very particular situations. So let's take a look. Um, imagine we have a vector like x over here, and we just want the sum of its elements. Very easy, sum of x we get 15. Now, um, if we do sum of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, instead of sum of a vector, this also works. And that is because sum, if we take a look at its uh, arguments, it takes the dots instead of x or instead of uh, any other named argument. It just takes dots. Um, this is in contrast with mean, for example mean takes x, so this will be a vector of elements from which we want the mean, and then it takes some dots, so these are these are for um, additional options like na.rm and things like that. Um, so imagine now that instead of having a vector, we have a list called my list. So this is x, this is my list, okay? And suppose that we want the sum of its elements. We want to do exactly the same thing as before, but instead of writing sum of x, we want sum of my list. Now it turns out that this is not going to work because sum takes as an input a vector and not a list. Well, there is a, a, a function called lift dl, which, trans which yeah, transforms if you want a function. It lifts its domain from the dots, hence the d, to the l, the list. So basically what's going to happen is that sum over here, instead of taking dots, will now take a list as an input. And so lift DL itself takes a function as an input, in this case sum. I save that into a new variable. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't run per, so let's run per first. So this is a function, lift DL is a function from per. And now let's take a look at some list. Some list is now a function, as you see, taking as an input a list, and it calls uh, f, which is the function that uh, we give it, with a lot of different options that make it work magically. <laughs> so now, if we take a some list by list, we do get the expected result. Um, there are other lift functions. There is lift dl. Uh, there is also lift vl, so let's take a look at lift vl. For example, if I do mean my list, it doesn't work, okay? Because mean, again, takes as an input a vector with x and not the dots as before. So sum takes the dots, um, but mean takes an x, so a vector. If I do lift dl, okay, and if I run it, it's not going to work. And the reason is because lift dl again lifts functions that take dots as an input to taking lists as an input. But mean takes a vector as an input. So we need to use lift vl instead. And as you see, this is this works, right? I think so. I think the mean of this, yeah, mean of this is true. So there's some other ones, uh, you, you can, you, there's dl, dv, ld, so dv dots to vector, ld list to dots, lv, etc. Again, I don't personally use them very often, uh, but I think it's nice to be aware that they exist because in, in some particular situations you might need them. So uh, now you know they exist, there's also simply lift, which is I think a shorthand for vl, for lift vl, I think or DL, I think it's for lift DL, um, because, uh, well, it's the one that uh, gets used so much. So in any case, uh, I hope you found this trick uh, useful or that you will find it useful in the future. If you have use cases uh, where you've already used them or where you plan on using that, please share that in the comments. I would be interested to see um, how this gets used in the wild. So. Thank you very much and have a good one.